everyone, this is Jackie, the French reporter. We are so delighted to be back at the Avalon Hollywood, where the fifth annual Hollywood Beauty Award is happening. It is such a blessing above and beyond to have a platform as the HBA that fully celebrates the architect of beauty. Artists working in hair, makeup, photography, costume design, and much, much more. Tonight, I would like to recognize someone that took a stand for all these talented artists that go often unnoticed. It is with honor and great pleasure we welcome the founder of the Hollywood Beauty Awards, Michelle Elizabeth and her incredible team. You look absolutely stunning. Thank you, I'm wearing a Nabil Ayari. Yes, he made it for me. For the people who just got introduced to the HBA, what is the focus and what it is about? I have dedicated a portion of my life to thank and recognize the architect of beauty and that includes the photographers, the hairdressers, the doctors, the stylists. I mean, people who really have a thankless job, basically, and were super talented. We have a lot of people who come from different countries. We are hosting the Minister of Tourism of uh, Tunisia, who is looking forward to take uh, Hollywood Beauty Award to his own country. So let's talk about your incredible team. Pamela is definitely a gem. I could not do this without Pamela. She's the one who finds the artist, book the artist. She rehearses everything. She has about 30 jobs and I get a couple. You have to love this show. It's our baby, basically. What goes into it? Our blood, our sweat, our tears. And it's just been a challenge getting everything together. A lot of work behind this, and it's all for the people who are behind the scenes, the unsung heroes, and we want to always make sure we make them shine. This is all about the architects of beauty. At the end of the day, we're here to celebrate them. You are an architect of beauty. Let's face it, without you, Hollywood, nothing. How do you feel the fact that you've been invited and nominated by the Hollywood Beauty Award? I'm just honored to be here really. I mean the people that I'm nominate that I'm in the category with and all the other categories it's just incredible. To be able to be recognized on your merit is amazing so I'm really appreciative. Just to be nominated is like an honor. It's just such a nice gesture to be recognized for your craft. To be honest, I felt like a fraud at first because, you know, as artists, we're all very hard on ourselves. And then I thought about it and I've been doing this for 10 years and I put a lot of work into it. So I'm glad I'm being recognized for my work. It feels great. You know, it really takes a team to create the magic that happens in Hollywood. Every time I watch a movie and especially things like this year, Bradley Cooper, A Star is Born, he transformed himself. That was not uh, by accident. That was hair. And and makeup and wardrobe. They're fantastic and I want to honor them. We all work really hard to make our clients feel and look their best every time they go out. So I think it's really cool for the artists to be recognized. We're always out there being seen. The people that are behind the scenes are really what make us feel good about ourselves. Everyone that gets nominated has lived an incredible life and given so much to the community. We can't do without them. She's phenomenal. I think she's one of the best in the world and I'm so proud of her. I told her no matter what happens tonight you're already a winner. It's what's behind the scene but it's so important. It's the, one of the biggest parts there is. We love her hair and makeup and everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, Larry and Cherry. Oh, what an honor. Not only are you receiving outstanding achievement in hairstyling, but three people, because of your work, will be nominated in your name. Just being recognized is a beautiful thing. I feel truly blessed. And to be in this industry, it's really nice. We're, we're brothers. We're, it's more than just work. We're, we're brothers. I'm, I'm riding down Sunset. I see pictures of my son. Larry Cherry did the work. I'm listening to my iPod. Larry Cherry made the iPod. I said, man. Many hats and just just a friend. I mean, we talk about everything and everybody's always thought we were brothers and they're right. We are. I love my my fellow hair and makeup folks in the movie business. You know, we collaborate. It's really an honor to for them to, to do this for me. I mean, I, I, I really love it. Lori McCoy Bell Award? Like, what? Where's my life gone? I really am very honored, and I hope I can continue to live up to my reputation. We put in so much effort to make these people look amazing and to be acknowledged for the artistry that we have developed over the years and that we get to express is, a, is truly a wonderful feeling. So, yeah, hats off to the Hollywood Beauty Awards. 
last year you were here to give the outstanding achievement in hairstyle with uh, Gail, Gail Ryan, Ryan. My, my dear, dear friend, love her. And this year you are here to receive the Timeless Beauty Award. <laughs> First of all, I was very flattered and very honored. You know, when you receive an award like this, it's it's the people that you work with that really deserve the award. Special occasion tonight, you are receiving the Gentleman Award. It's an honor and a privilege, it really is. I, I uh, share it with Lionel Richie and with Smokey Robinson. What makes a gentleman? To give more than you receive. I noticed a new award, the Michelle Elizabeth Award. John Dempsey, who is the president of Estee Lauder Companies, is receiving this award. On behalf of all the brands and all the artists and creative talent at the Estee Lauder companies. I'm so pleased to accept this award. Tonight you have some incredible presenter, Kim Kardashian. She's coming to support her hairstylist, Chris Appleton. This man changed my life, so I'm so proud of him. I feel so honored to receive this award. I think it's amazing what Hollywood Beauty Awards are doing for the industry because no one else is really kind of celebrating hair and beauty like this. The fact that they're doing it at this kind of level for me is amazing. This is the Oscars of hair and beauty. You have Steven Tyler who took his time. I understand he was injured, his foot is injured and yet he's coming. He's been sort of a friend that's hard to describe because he's been with me and watching me. He saw a future that I didn't quite understand yet and he's been there all the way. I knew that, uh, that if people saw in him what I saw in him, that there'd be no stopping. I'm so shocked, like the competition was stiff. I'm really grateful and, and honored to just be acknowledged. I want to cry up there, I'm so proud of her because every time she always has her heart and her soul. And so night like this is really special. To have Ciara to come and present and recognize that you are one of the top architects of beauty. Come on, yeah. let's so cool. Thank you, Hollywood Beauty Awards. I can't believe it. I'm looking forward to more greatness with you. Thank you so much to Hollywood Beauty Awards. I am honored to be here. Hollywood Beauty Award, we love you. I'm so incredibly honored. I'm going to buy a chain, and I'm going to put it on here, and I'm going to hang it around my neck, and I'm going to wear it everywhere. Thank you, and I'm very humbled to just be in the presence of Stephen and all these wonderful people and patients who came tonight. Thank you so much, and again, it's an honor to be here, but it's a true honor to honor my my friend. Thank you for Michelle Elizabeth, thank you Pamela, thank you this Hollywood Beauty Award and I'm super happy. Voilà, Hollywood Beauty Award, je le remercie vraiment de m'avoir invité et j'aimerais bien que je les invite moi en Tunisie tous, organise euh, cette soirée là-bas à Tunis. And that's a wrap for the fifth annual Hollywood Beauty Award. We spoke to so many celebrities that came out to support the architect of beauty. Michelle Elizabeth and your incredible team, thank you for what you do. I'm Jackie, the French reporter. I will see you next year. Ciao!